Now, for somebody new driving in Malaysia, renewing your road tax can be a little bit confusing online because there's no one official website for you to do this. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can renew your road tax on a website called MyEG, all right? Now, how much do you have to pay for your car's road tax? This will depend on a lot of stuff, mainly your engine capacity. The smaller the engine, the less you pay in road tax. Second is your car type. You'll pay less for a car compared to an SUV or an MPV. Third, your engine type. You'll pay a lot less for electric cars compared to regular gasoline cars. And the registration of your car. So if it's private, you'll pay so-and-so. If it's a company car, you have to pay almost double of what you pay for a private car. But if you want a small engine car that is also powerful, you can consider a turbocharged car. So for example, the Honda Civic, it's only 1.5 liters. It's like 90 ringgit a year, which it's the same amount that you pay as for a Peridot Maivi, a budget car here in Malaysia. But it produces a lot of power because it's turbocharged. So that's a nice tip for you to still have some fun on the road while not paying that much road tax. So I leave a link to the Ministry of Transportation's website. So I'll also leave you another link to a road tax calculator. All right, so how do you renew your road tax online? There's two ways to do this. The first one is a physical walk-in to any post Laju office. So you need to bring in your IC or any documentation to show that you are the owner of the car. So this could be uh, the car's grant or the previous year's insurance papers that has who the owner is and information about the car. Now, I've never done this, so I can't comment any further. So the second option and the easiest one, in my opinion, is to renew your road tax online on a website called MyEG. So the remaining of this video is to show how I renewed my road tax on my EG website. Let's get started. So first you're gonna to go to my EG website. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below or you can just type in myeg.com.my. So here's what the website looks like and then click on check and pay road tax. So click on renew road tax and then log into your account. If you don't have an account, you can register, create an account here. Click on road tax renewal again. So here is the part where you insert the information about the car and also the legal owner of the car. So when you buy a car in Malaysia, the car will be registered under somebody's name. So who's that somebody? That's the information you need to put in here. So once you fill out all this information, you click on proceed to finish your payment. So I drive a 1.5 liter Peridot MyV. So my road tax renewal fee is 90 ringgit. However, there's a lot of extra charges on the MyEG website that I find quite ridiculous. So for example, there's e-services charge, 2 ringgit 75. What's that about? Why is there an e-service charge for 2 ringgit 75? I mean, if it's like 10 cents, whatever, but this is 2 ringgit 75, it's a lot of money. So on top of the e-service charge, you, you need to pay the SST of the e-service charge. So that's another 17 cents. Delivery charge for one piece of road tax, it's like one piece of paper, six ringgit. You can go on Shopee and buy stuff, it's free shipping. It makes no sense. So six ringgit delivery charge, and on top of that, you pay another delivery fee tax, 36 cents on top of the six ringgit. So this brings the total from 90 ringgit all the way up to 99.28 ringgit. So that's a, almost a 10% increase just on extra fees. This company has to pay their political buddies. So as a Malaysian, I work, you probably work too. Do you have time to walk into the post office during office hour? Most likely not. So what choice do you have? You have to pay this. All right, so hit confirm and pay and continue with your payment. So within the next couple of days, not more than a week, you're gonna get that road tax delivered to your home, the address that you keyed in there. So you can stick that road tax on your car before the expiry date of the previous one ends and you're good to go. So there you go, that's how you renew your Malaysian road tax online. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.